It's that time of year again. We got the old school box. What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Mini Mouse Sparks, coming at you with another YouTube channel today. Welcome back. For those of you who are just being introduced to the channel, welcome and welcome. So today, as you guys can tell by the intro for today, you already know that time of year is coming back. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's back to school, people, obviously. School is coming around the corner soon. People will be going back to school soon. And it's exciting and terrifying because depending on what grade you're moving up to, it can be a very scary situation. Because for me, I'm going up to 11th grade. I'm so, so, so excited because you guys i am this close to graduating and i'm super excited i never thought i would get there in time but i did and now that i realize i'm going to be graduating soon it's coming so close and i'm at the point where i need to start thinking about what colleges i'm going to go to and all that other stuff and also job i need a job because this girl is still unemployed and i have no job yet which means i'm not getting any money so if anyone has any job suggestions, you guys can comment that down below because I don't know where to work. I mean, my mind's boggled on different places like Sesame Place and Chuck E. Cheese and Dairy Queen and Rita's and so many other places where I want to go, but I don't know yet. My mom already gave me an application for Kohl's, but you have to be 17 and older, which I thought she knew that because other reasons. But anyway. School is exciting. School is coming up. I'm really excited to be a junior youth this year because I got so many things to look forward to. Prom, colleges I gotta look to, job I gotta get. I'm turning 16. I'm hopefully soon to be getting a car. I want to get my permit. I'm nervous. Being a junior and turning 16 are two completely different things, but at the, at the same time, they are nerve-wracking. Turning 16 is a joyous occasion. To turn into a junior is also joy. Uh, a joyous occasion but there will be some obstacles along both of those paths that I will have to leap over to get to the goal I want to get to so because with my because with me turning 16 I need to have a party which means I gotta jump over obstacles of party planning where I wanted to be to get to the sweet 16 and for me being a junior I have to jump over obstacles like classes relationships prom scholarships and other stuff just to get to being a junior so that's my life anyway I will be doing a back I, I will be doing a back to school shopping vlog when I can because I'm gonna I don't know depending on which store I'll, I'll be at I'll probably um, get a recording of where I'll be going so yeah that's exciting I'm sorry if I haven't posted a video in a while, that's also a thing, a minor apology to all, all you Mouseketeers, because I am so, I feel bad that I didn't post um, anything, but I'm also here to show you, because my schedule didn't come, finally come in the mail, but I do have something to show you guys, um, my, my nanny printed out my Genesis schedule, so I have that to show you in just a bit. I'm super excited, but I'm here to also not to only talk about my, not only to talk about my schedule, I'm here to talk about some, a few relatable things that might happen in school. So, with that being said, first, let's get on to my lovely schedule. Alright, so one of the things I have here is my schedule. And as you can see, it's already marked of which classes I'm going to. So first, I'll be going to Geometry. I have English, then History. Then once in a while, I'll go to Study Skills. Then I have Digital Photography. Then I have Keyboarding. Then I have Chemistry. And I have Chemistry Lab on Fridays only. And then I'll go to Miss Coley's for Keystone Algebra for 8th period. And then on Fridays, I'll go to Keystone Biology with Dr. Lee. So... Yeah, I have a lot of really good classes, I think, because I feel like this year is going to be a really good year. I have different teachers this year. The only teachers I'm really, f I'm not too familiar with are Kelman and Tifi. Other than that, I know every other teacher on this list. So, it's going to be a really good year, um, I hope. 
Then we have the same locker decorations I had from last year and the year before. We have my lovely pink carpet. We have my um, my little my uh, my cup I had in like since middle school. And then we have we have um, this lovely sticker that I got from the back to school night thing. And then we have my mirror, and it still says. They're pretty and you know it, which is nice for me. So anyway, some of the relatable things that are going to happen in, in high school, you're going to be sitting in your class doing who knows what, and you're going to be just sitting in your class, minding your own business, doing your work and all that stuff, and you're going to be like talking to your friends and all that about like something else. And then your teacher's going to try to embarrass you in front of the class by not knowing the answer to the problem. But luckily, if your best friend is smart enough, they'll be smart enough to tell you the answer to the question that was on the board. So, she'll just be like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. That's Mr. Rogers. And they'll be like, so what was the circumference of the circle that we just went over? And then, your best friend will whisper silently so that way he can't hear and she'll be like 5.6 inches and then he'll just be like Fuff. and then you'll be like 5.6 inches and then he'll be like good you're paying attention and then and then she'll silently high five your friend just be like thanks but yeah those are some of the relatable things that will happen in school I, I, I can guarantee you that but if your teacher is nice enough to not embarrass you then that's great some of the other relatable things that could happen, like, you know, since prom is coming up and stuff, you gotta be the one girl to go out of your way to get that good prom dress, get that good quality makeup, go over to your friend's house and spend like two hours to get ready, depending on what it's gonna be. And then you gotta try to persuade your mother to buy the ticket for you because you know it's gonna cost a lot of money for your prom ticket, so. Obviously, you gotta go out of your way to ask your mother. So, you're just like, hey mom, could you possibly pay for my prom ticket and my and my hair appointment, please? Because, obviously, you're gonna wanna get your hair done on prom, obviously. Because normally, what happens on prom days is that all the girls and guys will get out at like 11 o'clock a.m. and they'll go home, they'll take some time to get ready, and they'll go and they'll take some time to go out to their different places to go like they'll go to the hair salon first to get their hair done and then they'll go to the nail and then they'll go to the nail salon to get their nails done and then they'll spend two to three hours on their makeup with their friends and then they'll and then they'll spend a little prep time at at like Starbucks getting a drink before you go or getting sushi before you go because that's like the for me, it's like the usual prom tradition to go get sushi before prom, but who wants raw fish in their mouth before they have a slow dance? Not me. And I told myself, I said, I said, if I don't ask anyone to prom this year or if no one asks me, I'm going with a group of friends because going with a group of friends is fun because if you don't ever go to your prom, you're going to regret it and you're going to wish that you went to your prom especially your senior prom you have to go to your senior prom it's one of the greatest things ever and besides if you don't go to your senior prom you're just gonna be like shit i should have went to my senior prom damn it but uh yeah make the most of your high school moments because you're not going to have them back that's a fact because once you're because once you're off in your college or like in your job you're just gonna be like oh i miss those high school moments and i wish i should have went to my prom and yeah but you gotta make sure to have a good set routine as well. Like, you gotta wake up at a certain time, get a shower, get your hair done, get your makeup done so that way you're ready for school, have a good balanced breakfast, have your, and have your mom drive you on the first day of school. The greatest thing ever. So, I mean, yeah, honestly. It's always good to have a good set routine, have a good goal for this year. It's like basically modern life. So that is all I have for you Masketeers today. If you guys like this, you guys will subscribe down below and click that bell because I will have more content for you. I will also be making sure to do a back to school shopping vlog because I know how much you guys like vlogs anyway and they're great. So as always, I will see you Masketeers in the next video. 
See you later.